Hi, welcome back to Educator.com, Introduction to Music Theory. Today's lesson will be on scale degrees. So our lesson objectives will be, first of all, an explanation of every scale degree, number, and name. And we're going to explore the major and minor scale degrees and how the minor scale degrees are altered and a little different from the major scale degrees. So let's start with the first one, tonic. That is the very first note in any scale, but we'll be dealing with the, we'll be talking about the major scale first. So let's start with our C major scale, and we'll begin with a middle C. We'll draw the whole scale out and talk about and play this scale. The tonic is the first note of the scale, C, or first note. Very easy. This is the, like your home key. The tonic is the note that you start when you're playing a, in a, a song in a key of C and either a song is based on the C scale. The tonic note is the first note that you play and it's usually the last note that you play. This is your home key. This is the key that you come back to. The tonic key is the most important key to be thinking about when you're analyzing a piece of music or memorizing your scales. This is comes back to this note. In the case of C major, it's C. In the case of D major, it's D. So I'll be switching between different scales so you understand that the um, scale degrees don't apply just to one scale. It's every single scale. So moving on to the next scale degree, which is the second degree of the scale, and so we'll let's start with, um, let's see, D. And we'll do a D major scale. So we'll start in our D. And the, as you remember, D major has two sharps. D, E, F sharp, G, we're creating half notes. A, here's a B, here's our C sharp, and here's our D. Okay, let's number our scale degrees. The first one, the tonic, was number one. The supertonic is number two. So, supertonic is number two, with second scale degree. So, the supertonic is related to the tonic in that it really, um, when you play it after the tonic, let's see, here's our D. It sounds like it wants to go back to the tonic a little bit, right? This is where we're really beginning to incorporate our ear training, listening to tones, and listening to where one tone leads us. And this is really called ear training. When you take any music theory course in college, ear training is a huge part of it. So this is a really great way to begin to literally training your ears to hear where the tones in a scale lead. So here's our tonic, here's our supertonic. It's better when we end on the tonic, right? Then that sounds not quite finished. There we go. So, supertonic, second scale degree. Okay, moving on to the next one, the mediant. Let's pick another scale for mediant. How about a hard one? B major. B major has five sharps. I'm not going to write them in the key signature, I'm going to write them as accidentals within the scale. So here is our B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. The median is the third scale degree. So tonic is one, supertonic is two, median is three. Median. Three, third scale degree. Okay, let's listen to the B scale and let's see where our median wants to lead our ears. Let's see. Here's our B. That sounds really nice, actually. You could end on that note. Unlike, we really want to go back to the B, but when we play up to the median, to the third scale degree, one, two, that sounds really nice. So that's a really kind of a stronger tone to end on than the supertonic. 
let's move